Hi, welcome to Cairo's house and welcome to my 7,200.6 mile review of my Yolio 38mm deep, 23mm wide rims. Um, you'll notice that it's just the rims, they're not actually spoked. What I want to do first is have a look around the rims. So we'll start off um, right by the uh, valve hole and we'll turn the rim round first this way um, slowly so you can see if there's any marks. Um, I think that vertical line there is uh, where they join it together. So there's a little mark there. There's some marks there. Um, little marks up here. Well, I'm purposely doing this because I'll be selling these on eBay um, shortly. There's another join mark. These um, are not gouges, they're just surface marks. Okay, we're about uh, there's a mark there by the spoke, spoke hole. I'm trying to do this carefully so you can see what kind of condition they're in. All right, there's a spoke, there's the valve hole, so we'll quickly flip them over. This is the other side. Just going round. Okay, so this is one wheel, there's another join. Um, light surf, and that one, you can feel that one. Just there. So the others. Right, and here comes the main part, and I'm going to talk about this. This bit right here. Um, they used to have uh, Yolio names on them. And what I did, back in the day, is I was using a knife to get the transfers off. And what I've done is I've actually cut into the surface of the, of the um, uh, rim there. Um, that's why those are there. Yeah, a bit stupid I know, but, you know, you live and learn. Okay, so that's those there. And now we're back to the uh, valve hole. Let's just get the other wheel. What I meant to say was get the other rib. So let's start at the valve hole. Spin these round. There's a joint. There's a mark. Let's have a look. Uh, just about feelable. Feelable, I don't know if that's a word, but uh, there's a join. Okay, we're just about to come around to the start again. There we go. Let's flip her over. Uh, find the, find, there it is. Right, so let's start on this one. Um, that isn't, uh, that's just uh, something in the moulding maybe. Right, that is not feelable. There's a line. Mark up there, feelable, just. Some marks there, feelable. I only came off my bike once when I was uh, when I had these on. And we're back to the start. So um, let's have a look inside. I don't know if you can see that. 
uh, well constructed. Now, why? Why is it just the rims? Well, it's just the rims because let me just set this uh, up. Sorry about the shaking. Let's just point that down. Okay. point out there there we go it's just the rims because when I first ordered these and they came with Novatec hubs aluminium nipples and a bladed steel spoke um, and that's what I ordered you know bladed spoke faster more aero aluminium nipple lighter Novatec hub quite light because um, I live in Guernsey in the Channel Islands I soon discovered that perhaps that wasn't the best choice because we're surrounded by the sea and uh, salt and aluminium don't go together very well. Um, what I found was I started snapping nipples, um, especially when I was sprinting or um, the back wheel was on the load up like an up uphill in, in quite a high gear, um, grinding it up the hill. Um, it would just go bang and the spoke would uh, be flapping around. So what I then did was I changed all the nipples to uh, brass, brass, yeah brass, black brass and um, had no problems. Um, then my hub started to uh, um, not go wrong but they the bearing started to get corrosion in uh, because the seals weren't actually that good on the old Novatec hubs. Uh, so, salt water uh, and aluminium nipples don't go together. Salt water and those Novatec hubs didn't go together. So that's when I bought my DT Swiss straight pull uh, 24 spoke which these rims are, 24 hole. Um, I bought uh, sets of those in quick release, uh, 135 on the back and 110 on the front, and I had them completely respoked uh, as straight pull, double butted um, spokes, brass nipples, and that has been bomb proof since I uh, had them done. Um, now I've bought the Yolio 60mm Ghost uh, rims, which you've seen on another video of mine. I'm having them uh, respec this week with my with my DT Swiss hubs, which I have um, transformed into 12mm through axle. Um, I am in a position to sell these. So what I've done is I've uh, despoked them, taken all the rim strip off, uh, cleaned them up as best I could. And I'm just making a review for these, just to say how bomb-proof these Yulio rims are. These were probably made, I think, before they were, um, before all their wheels became UCI legal, which they now are. Um, these are a matte finish, um, as you can see. Uh, they are 24 hull and 23 mil. Uh, rim width. I ran 23 mil tires on them. I then ran 25 mil tires on them. Um, either one works perfectly. Had no problems. Um, no, no deforming under load. No punctures. Uh, the only puncture I ever had, and that's probably to do with my tire more than it is to do with the rim. Um, I use Continental uh, Four Seasons in the winter and uh, a Grand Prix 4000 S2s in the summer months. So when the clocks change, I change my tyres over. <coughs> um, yeah, just a review to say how absolutely bomb proof these things are. Um, super cheap, super worth it. If I was you, I would be buying... Yolio rims, you can then spoke them up to how you want, or you can buy them pre spoked. But 
if I don't know if they're still doing aluminium nipples or not if you live anywhere where you're going to get corrosion by the sea um, do not get aluminium nipples that's my opinion they'll just they'll just explode and snap and then that's a bit of a bind having to tire off in the tube out rim strip out new nipple put it all back together and then a few days later another one goes so um what i've done this time is i've just bought the rims and um i've already got the uh hubs so i'm just having them spoked up at my local bike shop um that is the end of my 7,200.6 mile review. Bomb proof, these things will last forever. Okay, let's get down to weights. I forgot to weigh them during the video, so I'm doing it now. Let's put one on the scales. That is 443 grams. 443 for one of the rims and that one is 455 455 take care uh, like subscribe for some more reviews and I'll see you soon bye